Pum pum. So this is the last session, basically. Um, and so uh, we're, we have been doing this since the, since the first, uh, since the first open source design dev room. And um, it's basically just, a, as you could see on the schedule, just a session to pitch your own project um, and to ask for design help. So if you have an, an open source project where you need any design help whatsoever, like a, a, a logo or some interaction design or just a design review or something like that, uh, yeah, this is your, your chance now to, to pitch your project. Um, we have, it's just, uh, uh, yeah, voluntarily anyone who comes up. Like I know some people uh, um, who already uh, want to show their project, right? You, for example. Um, and so you just have three minutes. Um, just quickly explain what, yeah, it's uh, hardcore. Uh, so um, we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> so just quickly, be concise, uh, describe what your project does. You can come up here and um, just uh, open your website um, or your GitHub uh, uh, or, or any repository or whatever. Uh, just quickly explain what your project does, um, how you need design help, um, and uh, how to contact you. And you have three minutes. Uh, that would be cool. And oh, also, if you come up here uh, and uh, present your project, uh, we also ask you to, if you didn't do that already, afterwards, uh, go to our jobs uh, page and submit uh, that, what you presented, as a job posting. So it's also there for anyone who uh, doesn't attend right now. Okay? So uh, who wants to go first? Koala? Okay. Okay, so who uh, um, who else also wants to go? I saw some hands, show of hands. Okay, cool. Okay, nice. Okay, you want to go first? Yeah. Nobody else wants? Oh. Okay. All right, yeah. I will just hold this here. Okay, who has the time? Does someone of you have the time? Or Okay, great. <laughs> I'll hold it for you. Okay. So, this is about Koala. Koala is like a meta linter, so uh, you may know linters is like uh, usually one tool doing one specific kind of analysis on one language. So you usually need more of those, and you don't want to use multiple of, of those tools. Koala is like a meta linter, and uh, it basically uses those tools for you. It's one unified user interface for 66 programming languages, and usually more than one analysis available for every language. Um, we need design help um, in terms of usability and um, what we basically want to do is a usability test. So all that you get from me right now is koala.io, that's our website. And I want you to set that up for a project to do something reasonable with it and figure out if it works for you or not. Especially if it doesn't work for you, you can fill in the results at koala.io slash usability or you can just file as an issue. So it's very simple. Go to koala.io and later to koala.io slash usability. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Remember, remember to also put that in the in the jobs board. Uh, yeah. Very cool. So uh, you, uh, uh, at koala.io slash usability, there will be like a questionnaire. Yeah, it's, it's a Google form. Okay. Cool. I mean, it's not cool that it's a Google form, Sorry. but uh, <laughs> I guess it's okay. <laughs> okay, who's next? Um, I want to do something yeah. with Koala, so like it's a project building up on Koala, so maybe it would make sense to get it right now. Maybe yes, so yes. Done. So whoever wants to come, just come up. Like um, I, I don't pay attention who raised their hand, right. just uh, just come um, up. Yeah. So you got a rough idea of Koala now. Oh, just sit down here. So. Uh, there is no more letters than Yeah, I sorry, I uh, made the letters blank. I'm a real hacker. <laughs> I can't type with this. Oh, it's a, German, it's a German keyboard too, I'm sorry. Is it? Oh, that's good. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe don't open those tiny URLs. I don't know where they leave. I'm just searching for my answer. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh -oh. um, you got a, a rough idea of Koala now. And um, so you haven't seen no, anything of. Okay, cool, thank you. So you got a rough idea of Koala. Um, with Koala, there's something we want to do, like uh, we want to integrate it into GitHub, so it's actually usable. It's very so we can have a seamless integration into GitHub, and you know, I can see the comments which are the, by the linters produced by Koala um, are right in GitHub. So the idea is that it would look like uh, something like that. So that's the product we want to do. Oh my God, you can't see it at all.
Ta-da! Ah, here it is. So that's the eventual outcome. Um, so not much design work to be done there because it's GitHub basically. But what we are thinking about is how to do a nice configuration. And so that's our approach for the configuration so far. Um, yeah, we're not designers. It's basically not pretty nice. Um, we just tried to try something, but we really need would need some feedback on that. Um, how to make that? Uh, uh, how to make a good experience for the users on that point? So there will be a questionnaire at. Uh, just at quarter slash gitmate. At quarter slash gitmate. <laughs> And if you have any feedback on that, if you would like to uh, contribute to this summer, I would be very happy to see at call.io slash gitmate or visit us at gitmate.io. Thank you very much. Okay. Cool. Just go there and open your book, open the yeah. project page. I'll uh, yeah, just close <laughs> that maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, or just open it there. Yeah. That's you need to click. Yeah, it's, it's a bit. Can you hold this? Yep. Yeah, uh, I'm Michael from Frentica. Frentica is a decentralized social network. We are here, well, we exist for several years. You might know Diaspora. Um, we are. We can talk to them as well. Uh, we are open source based on PHP and Co. And we really desperately need help for designers. Um, uh, for example, this homepage here uh, is uh, kind of ugly shit. It's totally old, and we tried to do a new homepage that, uh, yeah, look, uh, where, where we uh, really re rewrote everything, and uh, it looks even uglier because it's just, uh, yeah, yeah, like, and so we really need people uh, who are willingly. To to help us, just do the yeah, just for for new users, for people who are interested in it, so that they don't see this mess and say they oh, what the fuck, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, so that they can do the first step, can see oh yeah that's looking nice and yeah, and this is one of the things. Uh, other things would be uh, maybe if there are people who who are good in user experience stuff and so could have a look as well uh, at our. Uh, system could try um, uh, like uh, in one of the other uh, talks where people where this was where one could ask people for testing why people are uh, creating an account but never come back and this whole stuff this w would be totally appreciated this help so uh, where to uh, dive in like uh, how to how to contact you like where, where is your code or your uh, our code landing page or something? Our, our code, uh, yeah, the this, this these are all some weird, ugly things. I don't know where the mail addresses point to. So uh, best would be on GitHub. Your keyboard is really cool. Yeah, I, yeah, really I, I, painted it, I painted it black, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> is this the Borat or something? Huh? It no, it's German. Oh. <laughs> and, it, and it's uh, really almost Borat. Even more confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but most yeah. thing. So, so this is the address uh, fr uh, slash frentica slash frentica, and uh, we could be reached over, of course, contacting here with issues and so on. And of course, I, I will try to add a job entry as well. Cool. Yep. Awesome. Thanks. Yep. I can also type for you. Um, Yeah, disregard my uh, history or whatever. Um. <laughs> I hope you didn't see anything incriminating. As, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Oh, oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, shit, there's a video. Uh. <laughs> Hello, um, I'm Holger from the Reproducible Builds project. Um, reproducible builds are about free software is nice because we can modify the sources, share the sources, edit the sources, and pass them on. But we, nobody uses sources, we use binaries, and we need to believe that a binary comes from a given source. And the way to overcome this belief is enable everybody to rebuild this exact same binary. 
So this is reproducible builds. It's a technical project, and we are looking for a logo. And um, so I'm Holger from Debian, but involved is Arch Linux, Basefrog, Bitcoin, Corbu, Debian, FDroid, FreeBSD, Fedora, Geeks, um, Lead, NetBSD, NixOS, OpenSUSE, OpenWRT, Tails. Um, so we are looking at logo for this <laughs> reproducible builds project for everybody. And we have a page describing the logo, which is... Should I hold it on the yeah. We have a page in the Debian wiki, just search for reproducible builds logo, which is not the right page. Um, oh yeah, there so there is there are 16 ideas for reproducible builds logos. Um, some are usable as logos, some are not. Some are for the Olympic Games. <laughs> yeah, something. <laughs> um, I like this idea, but it's not a logo. <laughs> this is also nice. Um, or this. Or the rabbit for reproducing. I don't know. Um, <laughs> you can mail me. My name is Holger from Debian. Thank you. Cool. Nice, thank you. Um, j just one question. How, how long uh, are you looking for a logo? Because you have all these ideas already? Until we have a good one. No, I mean, f since how long? Uh, since Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So it's uh, reasonably fresh. So okay, cool. Oh, the slash is uh, I think here. Yeah. It wouldn't be so bad, but all the keys um, have the symbols rubbed off, so you can't yeah, see sorry. what you're typing. It's because I'm a real hacker. What is this? Cuss centralize your online presence. What good is that? I need to show off this. Th Whatever. Okay. Yeah, about me as the proprietor. So. That's not helpful at all. Okay. So um, this is me, Daniel Quinn. Um, anyone here played with a game called Guala? Do you remember it? It was a while ago. No? It was a great game. I fell in love with it. And then they sold out to Facebook, and Facebook was like, screw you guys. And they just closed the whole company, stole the staff, and imported them. So when it died, my friend and I got very upset, and we wanted to bring the game back. But we were going to make it better. And my friend, she had this brilliant idea. She was going to come up with this really cool game that basically, years later, some other company came along, came up with something. You may have heard of it, Pokemon Go. Um, between the time that she had the idea and the time that they came out with it, I started writing it. And I swear to God, like four years ago, I had a fully functional API. It was the coolest game ever if you really liked talking to JSON APIs. Um, but it was th this cool game where you could walk down to the water and it would know that you're near water and it would check the position of the stars and change the monsters near you based on that. There was leveling, there was upgrades, all kinds of stuff. It's still there. It's all on GitHub. You can play with it if you like. Um, but it's just an API. It's really ugly. I need it to be sexy. I need pictures. I need illustrations. And I you know, anything that's prettier than an API. So you're ra raising your hand. I'll go ahead. What, oh, no, not at all, because, you know, copyright. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that, that's the other thing. But the thing is, is po um, Pokemon is kind of the problem, because the, the creatures themselves are limited. Um, the way the game is designed for us is they're, they're designed to just be, we can add new breeds of creatures based on other aspects that we can get. So, for example, right now, with your Latin longitude, I can get the position of the stars in the cosmos. I can get the current weather where you are. I can get the historical weather you are, so figure out whether or not it's colder than it used to be and generate a different cold monster or not. Um, the region you are nationally, so the monsters all have regions. Um, they can all, there's also like one in a hundred chance that you may pick up a tourist. So you're in the UK and you're collecting monsters and they all have little UK flags on them. But every once in a while, one's from Japan. And now you get this idea, you want to go all around the world and collect monsters from all around the world. So like, all of this stuff is, it, it was fun for people like me who like to collect things. So I want to just make the game so I can play the game. But if any of you guys would also like to play the game or perhaps make it some money if we can actually make it into a functional object, that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, come get a hold of me. My contact info is hidden by that 
totally useless thing at the bottom. So just look at me. I'm, I'm Daniel Quinn. Uh, dot org. Go to my website there, and you can contact me through that. Thanks. Cool. Thank you. Let me know if you need help typing. So the, the, T is the T is okay. here. Right there. Okay. Um, command. Okay. Like new tab. Okay. It's not number. You can just open it in that tab. Yeah. Control A. Yeah. And control A. Yeah. Oh, it's Control uh, A. Control yeah. oh, okay. It's just yeah. doesn't change. No. Dot, yeah. <laughs> uh, and Hi, I'm uh, Christian Frisson. It means uh, Shiva in English or Fiber Frost in German. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm a um, researcher in uh, human computer interaction at INRIA in Lille. And I'm uh, developing a tool to help uh, UX researchers and um, uh, HCI researchers uh, to observe how people use their own apps. So I'm going to introduce it by two use cases. Uh, some time ago, I was working on a pro project consisting in uh, observing how sound designers uh, find sounds, explore sounds, uh, if it was like in grids or lists. But what if, if uh, the tools that are available to record uh, this are like a quick time player or uh, other tools, but um, you cannot uh, get the click uh, and like input from the keyboard. Uh, you cannot extract it as a separate file for analysis. So it's not convenient to annotate everything by hand. And so we wanted to develop uh, another solution. Uh, like it's going to be really small, but it's a browser that combines uh, S uh, similarity of sound based on tags and b b based on the sound itself. So to evaluate it, like uh, for usability, we, we wanted to do a quantitative analysis, and then we had to compare this application with another one that they used, and maybe some of you might have uh, recognized, but I guess not. It's too small. This is Pro Tools from uh, DigiDesign Avid. There, there are no user logs available, so we had to reverse engineer, uh, engineer some. So at last, this is the app I'm working on. It's called Inspector Widget. Like uh, there is a reference to a famous animated series like in <laughs> back in the days. So the idea is this is the recording of the desktop of anybody's uh, computer. And by uh, using a scratch-like language, we can program annotation, annotations and then browse the video in synchroni uh, well, synchronized to these annotations. For instance, uh, this is the file browser of Pro Tools. How can we see when people are like uh, browsing for sounds, uh, making some queries to find sounds, playing back? So if we don't have access to the like the DOM for uh, web applications or well the structure of widgets, how can we do that? So we select regions and we extract um, them from the video. Uh, okay. Just, uh, how do you need design help? So uh, I would need uh, people that would would help for the the, the design of the the application. But more so users that are uh, designers themselves that might use this tool for contextual inquiries or usability testing. I would want them to try it. For now, I mean, I'm uh, almost the only developer of it, so it's only available for Mac. Sorry, but <laughs> uh, well, I would uh, uh, need help from, from the developers as well. <laughs> and uh, the time is up, but thanks. And if you want to reach me, uh, uh, well, the project is on GitHub, and uh, um, <coughs> sorry. Well, if you browse this, this website, my contact is going to be visible somehow. Cool. Uh, so thank you. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Okay. Uh, Hi everybody, uh, my name is Rio and I'm from the DAISY program. Basically we try to build the Internet of Energy and uh, make energy as a common, basically. Uh, we are a team of uh, something like uh, today 10, 
10 people. It's an open design program for people who consider energy as a, as a common. And um, what we are trying to do basically is to work on f at three levels. Uh, one level is the hardware level, how you can monitor the consumption and the production of energy and uh, make it sensible or has a representation for it uh, for the users and uh, for the people who are directly uh, in touch with, uh, with energy, let's say. Uh, this is the first level. The second level is uh, the software level. So uh, we worked on with a kind of blockchain technology called Ethereum, basically. And what we, what we are trying to do is basically how you, uh, let's say, design an, inf an infrastructure uh, for people to share, to dire directly share or uh, sell energy to each other instead of, uh, let's say, uh, selling their energy to the grid or to another producer. Uh, so this is basically the, the project uh, on which we are uh, working on. Uh, we are looking for help uh, from designers, first of all for the design of the contributions, uh, because we like, uh, well, this project is open source, so we like people to uh, get involved in both the design of the interaction between the people and the energy, actually, so this is the first thing. Uh, the, second, the second thing is that uh, we need uh, design help uh, to basically design the governance uh, of the energy. Uh, what we are trying to do is basically to build a micro scale or a micro grid energy, uh, energy grid. And uh, one of the things that is quite complicated is how you deal with the local marketplace, actually. And this local marketplace has to uh, be, let's say, design has to have uh, governance that is rightly designed for interaction between the peers, uh, that is to say the producers, the grid operators, uh, the citizens, etc., etc. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, your last one, yeah. I guess, right, okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Nice to go. Okay. No, 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 just hold it, I can just hold it. Okay. Yeah. You should go already? Yes. Yes. This French. Okay. Uh, so, hi, I'm TG. Uh, we are working on the GNU Tyler project, which is a free software project for um, uh, implementing a, a payment system that allows uh, anonymous payments, but uh, receiving the money is not anonymous. Um, so, we have this website, Tyler.net. Uh, you can find uh, the developers page on. Uh, here it um, so just very briefly the system looks like uh, um, the way you would use it you have a bank account with for instance euros uh, you withdraw coins uh, into your wallet which it runs in your browser or mobile phone uh, these are anonymous coins that each rep represent a euro or it can be tied to dollars or whatever else as well so th uh, this system uh, is not a currency but uh, just a payment system. So it is intended to replace credit cards and PayPal and uh, similar systems. So w what happens in the system is that you, you have the, your bank and exchange exchanges the, your currency to anonymous coins and you pay with your anonymous coins to merchants and the merchants can go back to the exchange and get back the euros or whatever currency you have. And um, so what we started doing, we, we have started implementing the whole system and we have a, um, a browser extension using the web extensions API and what we need help with is um, designing the layout and the design of the extensions pages. We have uh, these uh, browser pop-ups uh, uh, in the corner usually. So we have, where you need, we need to display the the current balance and the confirmation pages uh, for payments, uh, things like this. So all the layout, so it's HTML, CSS, basically, uh, design work that we need help with. Uh, and so if you go to Tyler.net, on the developers page, you can find the contact information. We have a mailing list. Um, some, yeah, discussion. So we have this mailing list. You can uh, send a message there and uh, um, if you would like to help uh, uh, with the, the design of the web extensions. Um, uh, that was it mainly, and uh, thanks. Cool. Thanks.
Okay, so that was it. Um, so everyone who, who uh, um, yeah, asked for uh, design help now, uh, please uh, go to opensourcedesign.net slash jobs and uh, there's a link to post a job and it's basically uh, just adding like a, a, a markdown file to a repository. So you just put in the info there and I think we even have the, do we have this form up mm -hmm. already? Okay, yes. yeah, so it's even a form, not, not a markdown file there's and blah, blah. Link for the form in the middle of the screen. Oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, and uh, right, and basically, uh, like, kind of a, also a job, or, or if you want to contribute, like, we're an open open collective, so uh, we're on uh, github.com slash open source design. If you want to get involved, um, yeah, it's all open to contribution. And just a quick question do you think it's a good idea also next year to have this kind of this dev room for open source design? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah. thank you so much. For so, that. yeah, thanks a lot. So hopefully see, uh, see you next year. And uh, yeah, if you want to give a talk, um, just uh, yeah, hand it in and uh, check us out on Twitter also.